Hey guys, you want to go get some moonshine? Huh? You want to go get some moonshine? I don't drink. Uh huh. <laughs> Oh, good. good. So, Sean, we always see you post stuff on Facebook that you married up when you married Stephen. <laughs> yes. So, why don't you tell us a little bit about what she's done to help with the Longhorns and just how awesome she is, how you married up? Well, with the hours I work, I can't be home a lot of times to AI and stuff. So, she went to AI school, and that way she can do some AI work. And then uh, she does. A lot of the farm work feeding and stuff when I'm away she can pull truck and trailer and uh, you know she just does anything that I could have anybody else do do you enjoy doing that stuff Stephen? most of it <laughs> <laughs> what part don't you enjoy um, looking for feed pans and 15 inches of snow oh, yes. <laughs> yeah while Sean's getting a sunburn in Texas <laughs> <laughs> right how did you guys get started in the long -term? Uh, rodeo. I rode bulls in rodeo and then I wanted to raise bucking bulls so we ended up with some longhorn bulls and a mama cow and uh, we just fell in love with the breed after having that cow. How long ago was that? 21 years ago. Yeah. 21 years ago. 21, 22. Who were some of the first people that you talked to when you got into longhorns? Well, the late Tom Brown was the one that got us into it, but, uh, you know, Ben Gravitt and Tyson Leonard and those guys were all putting their sails on, you know, the Babington sail, and we went and talked to those guys, mostly. Jim Curry, he was always, and uh, Joel Lemley, they were a great influence on us when we had some decisions to make. How have you seen things change since you got into it, since it's been so long? Uh, the people were, I mean, the, 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 the whole breed's about the people, I think. I mean, we love the cows, but the people are just, it's like a family. And uh, to get new people involved is one of our favorite things to do. <laughs> so these events that we come to, when we first got involved, we hardly knew anybody. And now we just, we just look forward to the events because of the people. And I think that's the biggest change is the amount of people that are involved now versus 20 years ago when we started. And, you know, the cattle are obviously better. The cattle are amazingly better. I was talking with Rob Fenza, and it's only been nine years ago that he got a plaque for ginger snap being 70 inches. Right. You know, in nine years, the breed's come so far. So you've gotten a lot of new people involved in your area. Yeah, yeah right? quite a few. Yeah. And how do, you, how do you reach out or contact those people? I really don't know. I mean, we, we do a lot of advertising. You know, we promote our website on everything we own. Mm -hmm. um, you know, just talk with everybody. We can be at wrestling matches or football games or rodeos, and somehow we end up talking Longhorns to somebody. What's your favorite part of having Longhorns? My favorite part? Yep. The babies. <laughs> you never know what color's coming out. Right. And then it's always fun to get to see who, the, if it's a bull or heifer first. Right. <laughs> so the kids? Sam and Hannah, mm -hmm. do they, are they pretty involved? Yeah, Hannah likes to check the babies too. Everybody likes to check the babies. Sam does a lot of feeding, taking care of his critters. He likes them. He likes to talk longhorns as much as Sean. <laughs> <laughs> and he comes with. Yeah. To a decent amount of the events mm -hmm. that Sean goes to. Yep. Where do you guys see yourself in the long in your longhorn herd in the next five, ten years? Oh, we just want to keep having fun. I mean, if we can raise great cattle, uh, you know, that's important. But the most important thing is that it stays fun for us. If it's not fun, uh, you know, I wouldn't do it. But we just want to have fun, raise good cattle. We started doing some embryo work, and so that's going to help push the program forward. Any embryos that you've implanted that you want to talk about? Any that you're really excited about? We only have one on the ground right now. Okay. <laughs> she's, she's in the futurity. Okay. Who's it out of? Gauge. And to oh. the rock. Nice. One of Sam's cows. Is it one of the first ones that you did all the work on yourself? Mm hmm That's exciting. That is exciting. That's we have cool. some out of uh, Scratch It, and, and uh, you know, she's been such a good old cow. Justin Henry and Keith Bollinger and I own her together, and the demand for her offspring, we, I mean, every embryo we get out of her was sold before it even gets on the ground. That's 
That's pretty awesome. So she's, she's just such a great old producing cow. What made you decide to start doing more embryo work? I'm not sure. You know, just I don't know. <laughs> friends ask us if, you know, we did one, be well, Tula Rock, the cow had cancer in her eyes, so we flushed mm -hmm. her to just, you know, keep her genetics. And, um, you know, then we, we just had friends start asking us to do some. We do some for John King and Ryan Schmidt and mm -hmm. Justin Henry, and it just evolved into more and more and more. Not necessarily on purpose, it just happened. Yeah, it just, <laughs> just accidental. Yeah. So what do you guys do for your full-time jobs? What do you do outside of Longhorns? I do bookkeeping for a landscaper friend. Their construction business, Sean took over a fencing business, so we do those papers. Numbers. Numbers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just do it. Uh, we have a agricultural fence company that we took. We bought a gentleman out three years ago, and uh, we've been doing that. And then we've had a construction business since before I was born. My dad had it. So when we got out of high school, my brothers and I and my dad, we all just incorporated in just a small residential construction. So if you had to give advice to new breeders coming in, especially families with kids, you know, that want to be involved, what advice would you give to them? The best advice I have for new breeders is to, the breed is so easy to fall in love with, is to not get too many that yeah. you get yourself in trouble and you have to sell. Because then they, they're selling for way less than they paid and they're not making money and they get discouraged because they just have to sell the cows. They, they ran out of room, they don't, they don't have enough hay, they don't have enough feed, they gotta sell them. Yeah. And it gets discouraging. So that's my, my biggest, uh, you know, biggest thing that we tell people is just know where your limits are and do your best. It's not easy. I mean, Seasons is always wanting to buy cows and I keep telling her, you know, we gotta stay back where we're at. So, uh, you know, that's my be be best advice to anybody. Just keep your herd where you can handle it. Do you agree, Seasons? Yeah. Do you have anything to add? No, just uh, so that it's not so much work and that it's still fun. It's still fun. So, Jamie, I know you guys pretty well. <laughs> We've hung out a little bit outside of Longhorns and that sort of stuff. So we're going to play a little game right now called... Um, Two truths and a lie. Two truths and a lie. So yes. you guys have come up with two truths and a lie, just mm -hmm. like it sounds, and yeah. we have to try to guess which one is the lie, right? Uh, yeah. Yep. Okay. Okay. We met in home at class, and I pursued Sean. We both have college degrees. And we're missing one there. <laughs> <laughs> Sean rode bulls. Oh, well, we know Sean rode bulls. Yeah, that's, he, true. Yep, that's true. What was the other one you met in home at class? We met in home at class, I'm, and I pursued Sean, and we both have college degrees. I'm going to call BS on the she pursued Sean. Right. <laughs> I told you. I would get him. <laughs> That's the truth. I do not have a college degree. No. Okay. So tell us how you pursued her. How did yeah, you? I did. She pursued me. Oh, I was. Really? Yeah. Oh, so we guess oh, Not really. really. We had home ec together, yeah. so. I just wanted to go to home ec class so I could learn how to cook and. And I like to cook, so. That's great. <laughs> I went to home ec class because it was an easy. Yeah, it was, <laughs> it was an easy so elective. Like she was there, but. Yeah. Okay. All right. So we're all for one. We're all for one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um. We need one more there. Okay, I'll do this one. One time in the Bahamas. Sean pushed me out of the way so he could get on the jet ski first. We were stuck in the water. Sean, or I can back up a trailer as well as Sean can. And we've been together for 25 years. Oh. What's the second one? That one? I would totally believe that Sean would push Seasons out of the way to get on the jet ski first. Who asked her? See, I don't think she can back up a trailer just as good. I think the first one's a lot. Okay. The Bahamas? Yeah. Use a row for two. Yeah. Oh my goodness. What That's true. It? She can't back a trailer up very well. No. <laughs> She's great at going forward, back yeah. just not so much. I can go forward almost anywhere. Right. <laughs> backing up part. No. Okay. Um, okay. I do some of our AIing and most of the heat detecting. We never wanted to have more than just a couple longhorns, and we wanted to raise bucking bulls, not longhorns. The first one we know one. is true, right? Yeah. Yeah, that one here we already gave most of. Yeah, we already told you that. Yeah, one. yeah, yeah we got one. Good one. job. <laughs> um, Sean was a state qualifying wrestler in high school. I went to nationals for softball, and Sean played fullback on a district champion football team. I think Sean wrestled. I think I know that. Yeah. Maybe. It's got to 
I be one of the last two? You, I've been, my gut's been wrong, so you go. <laughs> yes. Do you think season is a slice of softball? Mm -hmm. uh, I think that's a lie. And that Sean was a football champion. I think the softball one's a lie. I did go to nationals. <laughs> you did? I did. Oh, goodness. Well, did so you, you were, um, I play outfield. All right. One time I got pulled over going up and off ramp. I have my CDL to legally pull the trailer, and my everyday vehicle is a Mustang. That's a lie. <laughs> yeah, what? That, that's yes. Oh, okay. I rode bulls in okay. rodeo. Okay. Seasons barrel raced in rodeo, and I used to fight bulls in rodeo. The last one? Yeah. Yeah. I feel now like I don't rural. even know. <laughs> she never rode a horse in her life. I rode a horse. Just, <laughs> just really? not around barrels, yeah. <laughs> Is there anything else that you want everybody to know about you or your breeding program? I think so. Just have fun with longhorns. Yeah. Well, thanks for joining us today, guys. Yeah, thanks for thank taking you. us. It was fun. It was fun. <laughs> yeah, it turns out you don't even know us. <laughs> <laughs>